If you've been keeping up with the videos I've been making, I've been doing a few on the Nokia N900 cell phone, and I've also posted some videos I filmed with it, and the video quality is pretty good for a cell phone. Um, but for the most part, when I do video editing, I usually strip out the original audio and add in my own sounds and, and music. Uh, but today I tried just editing a simple video that I wanted to keep the original audio on, and I realized there was some issues. And I'm going to show you how to fix those issues uh, so you can edit the videos. And many of the problem is, and you get this sometimes when you use uh, compress, compressed videos that compress the video a lot, uh, the frame rate tends to get off, and, and sometimes you'll have where the audio doesn't match up with the video. And I'll show you the problem we're having here. First thing I'm going to do is I have an SSH server running uh, on my phone, and I'll just log into it here real quick. I've already typed in my password and stored it on my desktop here, but normally you'd be prompted for a username and password. I'm going to go into uh, my directory here where I have all my videos and photos that I've taken with my camera saved, or my phone saved. And I'm just going to grab this last one here. I'll go to my home directory and I'll paste it in here. And we'll let that finish copying over. It's only a few megabytes. And I'll play it. And playing it, it plays fine. This is a test video to show how to fix the audio if you want to edit the video from your Nokia N900. So you can see it plays fine, but every editor I tried it in seemed to have issues with it due to the compression. So I'll open up the video in here in uh, Caden Live, and I'll press play here. This is a test video to show how to fix the audio if you want to edit the video from your Nokia N900. So you can see it's all crackly and broken up. And I thought that was just the preview of it. I thought once I rendered it, it would solve that problem. And no, that when I rendered it, it sounded just like that. So next, I tried opening up Singlera. And I'll import that video. And I had even more audio issues here. This is a test video to show how to fix the audio if you want to edit video from Nook and I hope. Audio if you want to edit video from Nook and I hope. From Nook and I hope. So you can hear that it's playing really fast. The video, which is off here on another screen, is playing at a normal rate, but the audio was playing real fast and looping over and over again. And I tried a few other editors and they did the same thing. So I said to myself, how can I fix this? And I decided. Uh, the simplest way was to open up a terminal. I'll make this bigger so you can see it here. And I'm in my home directory, and you can see the video right here. It's uh, automatically saved on the phone by, with a date stamp, by the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use M Encoder, which is part of the of M Player. Actually, let's just do M Player because M Player will convert videos as well, and I think it just uses M Encoder. So M player, and then we'll do the switch for VO, which is video out. Well, we don't want video. I'm going to do null. And then I'll do audio out here. And the type of audio I want is PCM, which is going to be a WAV file. And we're going to say the file that we're going to output to, and we'll just give it a name of N900 audio.wav. So I'm going to export it as a wave. And then we just have to say what video we want to grab the audio from, which is there. Hit enter there. And after a few seconds, if we list again, we'll see that we now have our N900 audio file. We can play that with M player. This is a test video to show how to fix the audio if you want to edit the video from your Nokia N900. So now we have a wave file of the audio sounding proper. Now we can just open up Caden Live again. I'll grab the video and the audio here. I will grab the video first, drag it down here to our first timeline, first track. If I can do that, there we go. And then I'll mute that track so there's no audio to it. Then I'll just grab our WAV file, throw it down here on one of the audio tracks. And now I can play. This is a test video to show how to fix the audio if you want to edit the video from your Nokia N900. There's a little crackling in there, but that's just the preview. Once you render that, all that's going to be gone. The audio is going to be great. So that's how if you want to do a real edit of your videos from your Nokia N900, you can do that uh, without having any problems with audio. It just takes one extra step to convert the audio. If anyone knows a better way,
go ahead and comment. Um, but I think this is probably going to be your best way, and unless you can use, uh, you can probably use M uh, M Player to convert the video to another uh, video format. But uh, then you're going to be recompressing the video, and you don't want to keep recompressing the video. That's why I chose to just do the audio in this case. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful, especially if you have a Nokia N900. And even if you don't, you'll probably come across some ways, some places where you're going to have the crackling audio like that due just to a very uh, crammed down compressed video. And this is the way you can fix it in pretty much any case where you have that problem. So visit filmsbychris.com. Have a great day.